Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons and my channel members over at our sister channel, History in the Dark. You are the reason why this content remains just absolutely massive. And today, we are going to discuss, well, a question, a debate, a topic, a subject matter, a bit of a fact that many people seem to think would have a really easy answer. And it's actually one of the more complicated questions when it comes to dinosaurs, in fact, animals in general, in the entire history of the planet. Which is, what is the largest land animal to ever exist? You'd think I'd have a solid answer on this, but I don't, because no one really does. Let's discuss why. As I discussed in my recent video about the Shastasaurus, the largest creature that has ever existed on this planet, period, no if, ands, or buts about it, as far as we know, it is the blue whale, which exists today, with us, on Earth, really right now, they're out in the ocean as we speak, which again, really trippy to think about, but what's more relevant to us, as human beings, who are generally terrestrial creatures as well, what is the largest creature ever to walk on land? The largest animal on the planet today is the African elephant, and the tallest is the reticulated giraffe, also in Africa. And having super large creatures walk on the planet, like on land, is actually a very difficult thing to do. A big part of the reason why the blue whale is able to get so large is that they live in the water. The forces at play in their environment aren't as harsh on their bodies as they would be if they had developed and grown that big on land. But within the paleontological record, there do exist creatures that did walk on land and did get to be, oh goodness, so, so big, and they are the sauropods. Sauropoda are a clade of dinosaurs that existed from the late Triassic period to the late Cretaceous period. The majority of when dinosaurs existed, the sauropods did too. And they're characterized by, well, extremely long necks, extremely long tails, and just being big chungus. Even on the small end, the sauropods were usually the largest creatures in their environment. And they're easily one of the most recognizable types of dinosaurs in general. A common term for them would be long neck, thanks Land Before Time. And I could make this video very easy on myself and simply tell you that the largest creatures ever to walk on land were the sauropods. Okay, good talk, bye. But no, 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 no. You at least want me to narrow this down to a genus, don't you? If not an exact species. And I promise you, I am not going to be able to do that with any real certainty, but I will at least try. First, let's get the most well-known sauropods out of the way before I move on to the actual large ones, because believe it or not, the ones that are the most famous are actually more middle of the road in their size. Like they were huge, obviously, but they absolutely were not the biggest ever as far as science is concerned. Brachiosaurus altothorax were incredibly massive creatures and were between 18 and 21 meters long, as well as weighing up to possibly 58 metric tons. Apatosaurus ajax, due to their posture, extending their necks out and away from their bodies as opposed to up like brachiosaurs, were probably as long as 22 meters or so, and probably weighed up to 22 tons. And Diplodocus carnegi is actually currently one of the longest dinosaurs that's known from a complete skeleton, with a total length of 26 meters. But Diplodocus was very lean for a sauropod, so they probably didn't weigh more than about 15 tons. But while Diplodocus may be incredibly long, they definitely weren't as tall or as heavy as what was for a long time thought to be the official largest dinosaur and land animal in general ever to walk the planet, Giraffe Titan. Estimates for Giraffe Titan put them at at least 78 tons and 26 meters in length, but it's possible they could have grown even larger than that. And despite the fact that Giraffe Titan for a long time was considered the largest sauropod, it probably wasn't, maybe sort of, this is very hard to determine, and I'll tell you why for a second. The truth is that when it comes to many sauropods in general, we just don't have complete remains to verify their actual size with. And the reason for that is simply because of the passage of time. As a result of this, the overall size of many sauropods is a very, 
very hotly debated subject. And while Giraffe and Titan held the record for a long time, enter the Titanosaurs. The Titanosaurs were the last surviving group of long-necked sauropods, and this specific group likely contained what would have been the largest land animal to have ever existed. Portosaurus reuli is thought to have been about 30 meters long and 50 metric tons, but its close relative Argentinosaurus huinculensis may have been up to 40 meters long and up to 100 tons. But at the same time, Argentinosaurus is also estimated to be as light as 50 tons, half that top estimate. It's very variable here, and because so few remains can be found, it's hard to say how big they could actually get. But out of all the choices here, Argentinosaurus is probably the one that was the biggest overall? But believe it or not, there are actually two possible sauropods that may have been even larger. It's just that these two can't actually be proven to ever exist. They are phantom dinosaurs. They are dinosaurs that are merely rumored, possibly made up entirely. We don't know exactly because their remains were lost after they were discovered. The first mystical fake dinosaur would be the Bruhachiosaurus, which was discovered in the Kalamadu Formation of India and was said to be longer than 35 meters and weighing over 80 tons, and that was based off of fragmentary remains. But the problem was that apparently the remains that they did find actually wound up disintegrating and they no longer exist to actually be verified at all. So, without further remains of these things, it's hard to say how accurate that size estimate would really be. And the other one is Marapunosaurus, which was said to be from the late Jurassic, and from the partial remains it was estimated to have been about 60 meters long and 150 tons. However, this size estimate is very debatable, as this creature was discovered and described in the 1870s? Which, if you've seen my more recent top 5 about hilarious paleo art, you may recognize as the 1870s not being a great time for getting an accurate interpretation of what dinosaurs looked like. Edward Drinker Cope was the one who looked over these remains before they were simply lost. They just disappeared. No one knows what happened to them. And it's been suggested that he simply overestimated the size of the creature, and some wonder if it was even a sauropod at all. So as you can see, it's really hard to give you a solid, actual, legitimate answer when it comes to what was the largest creature to ever walk on the planet, because paleontologists are still kind of figuring that out. Finding more remains, or as many as they can, putting it all together, giving size estimates, and all we really know for sure is that sauropods, for the most part, were huge, and that the largest animal to walk on land that we know of at this point was definitely a sauropod. Which one of them exactly? We may never know for sure. Till next time, this is Darkness, and if you dwell a fond, farewell.